All right, this is going to be a fun video. What if I tell you, you can create your own word game or music game in as few as three steps and share it with your community, your friends, etc. That would be awesome, right? And all of this without having to write a single line of code. That's right, even your grandma can do it, seriously. So let's get started. Also, watch this video until the end because there is a competition being held and you can win up to $100. The winner gets $100, second and third place gets $50 each. So if you want to participate in this competition, stick until the end of this video because I'm going to tell you the instructions on how to enter and participate in this competition at the end of this video. So make sure you stick until the end. All right, so the platform that we're going to use to build our own cool word and music games is called Play Pass. And as it says here, on the homepage, you can launch a game in as few as three steps in less than five minutes without writing a single line of code. And all of this is absolutely free of cost. Before I show you how to build a game using this platform, I asked my friend to build a game so that I can play it. And he has built it using this platform and shared me the link. So I'm going to try to play that game and let's see if you will be able to beat it so apparently it's called my awesome word game very lame name just like my friend each day there's a different word to guess you have six tries to get it right click on continue and there you go that is the game interface no fancy graphics no three-dimensional things just simple but most importantly fun to play that is the main point so we have to guess a five letter word and we get six tries i guess to guess it so let's start okay what is the first five letter word that comes into your mind um, I don't know about you, for, but for me, it's definitely going to be thick. Now, I know what you're thinking, but there's no denying. That's the first letter, five letter word that comes into my mind. Let's see if that uh, does anything. Okay, so as you can see, this square that contains I turned green, which means this letter I is present in the word that we, are, that we should be guessing. All right, so what is another five letter word that comes into my mind that also has I at the third place. Um, what about think? Okay, that really did nothing. <laughs> you know what, that's actually dumb on my part because we clearly know that T, H, C, K are not present in the final word. So it makes no sense that I, uh, that I tried think, which also con contains T and H. Uh, in the first two places and also K at the last place. So yeah, that's that's my bad. Um, let's try one more. Uh, what about price? Price, yeah. It looks like we hit a jackpot there. We got four letters correct. Now we only have to guess the fourth letter. So it's not a C, it's not an N, um, it's not a T, it's not a H, it's not a K, what else could it be? You know what? We can just like brute force at this point. So we can start with P-R-I and we can type A-E. That doesn't look like a word to me. So what about B-E, Pribe? Um, no. Price we have already tried. And then D-E, Pride, that's a word, right? So let's try that. Okay. Uh, it seems like that is not the word that we are uh, supposed to guess. So if I put F, it's not going to work. G, J, L, Z. Oh, you know what? There's another letter that uh, that actually may kind of makes sense. What about P, R, I, M, E? Prime. That is a word, right? Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video. Uh, Optimus Prime. I'm guessing that is a word. Is it? Well, would you look at that? <laughs> that is actually the word. It says you guessed today's word. It's pretty fun, isn't it? So yeah, that's about it. And the main advantage here is that if you're creating your own game, you also get to decide your own words. You get to choose the length of the word. You get to choose the actual word and all that stuff. So you can customize it uh, all the way you want. You can, you can even customize the theme. So yeah, now let's go ahead and create our own game using playpass.game. So the link will be in the description, uh, check it out. So I'll click on login here. I can either sign in with my Discord or with my Google. I click on sign in with Google. Let me sign in with my Google account. All right, so I have to set up my profile. I'll give my first name, last name, agree to the terms of service, click on continue. And that is my dashboard. So there are two types of games available. 
As of now, one is called daily music game and the second one is called daily word game. So we are going to create a word game. So I'll select the second one and it also shows you a nice little pop-up, a preview window here and you can see how this game looks like and all of that stuff. So yeah, anyway, click on next again and you get to choose a cool name for your game, I guess. So I'll just say a very cool yet hard word game. That's a mouthful, but it works. So you also get to choose the URL of your game. Um, I'm just gonna name it after me. Pages for you. And if you look at it closely, you're actually getting a subdomain at dot playpass dot games. So you can actually choose your own subdomain here, which is really cool. Click on next. Okay, so it says your game is ready. So you can uh, either go ahead and click on play. So there are two tabs here, content and style. Content is where you put your own words. So by default, it gives you three words, daily words and games. So you can just uh, replace this. You can delete these words, add new, new words as you like. So for example, let me edit the first name, first word I mean as uh, karate. So it's a six letter word and the next word, how about phobia, which is also a six letter word. And then, yeah, I guess that's it. I, I only want two words in my game. So I'll just delete the last one. Click on remove. And yeah, if you want to add a new word, you can just click on add day here. So basically the idea here is that every day a new word is going to get assigned to the game. So you get to play this game every day and each day a new word comes up. So you have to guess one new word every day. That's the whole concept of this game. So now I want to actually customize the style, the theme of my game. So I'll click on style here and obviously I'll get to choose the name of my game, which I already did. I'm not going to change that. So I can change the good guess emoji, bad guess emoji, but I guess green and red uh, kind of makes sense for their respective actions. So I'm not going to change them as well. And now I actually get to choose the theme of my game. So it's by default black and white, but I can change it to sky blue, forest green, pink and uh, purple. Um, so I think I like blue better. So I'll just choose blue here. And if you're still not satisfied with your theme, you can actually customize it even more. You can choose a background color. So there are different colors I can choose here. Let me choose the, one. okay, this color looks good, right? It looks good. Or maybe a little lighter than that. Yeah, that looks perfect. And then I'll change the text color. I think white is the best looking for this background. And then the key color, I will just put that as uh, green, I guess, a lighter green. Yeah, that looks good. And then the key text color, I leave that as a default, which is white. Cell empty color. Oh, you can, that actually adds a nice little outline to these cells, which is, which is cool. And the correct guess color is default green, which makes sense. And I guess the rest of the settings are fine. I don't want to mess them up because I like them the way they are. So that's it. You can just click on update game now once you're done customizing it. So now if I go to my URL, which is stageswaroop.playpass.games, I should be able to access my game. There you go. That is my game. So you can see all the themes and all everything looks awesome. If I click on continue, there you go. There is my game. So yeah, you can also see here that it also shows you a countdown uh, until the next word. So right now it's around 11.30 p.m. at my place. So it's going to be a new day in, in around uh, 29 minutes. And that's what it shows here. So basically the game gets updated to a new word every day and you can add as many words as you like. Awesome, right? And as the creator of the game, you also get to see the analytics of your game. You can just click on this analytics tab here and you can see the daily active players of your game in this screen right here. So this is a great way of keeping a track of how your game is doing. So if you want to have fun time with your friends or family and you want them to play the game that you made, that you customized, you created, then this is absolutely the way to go. It did not take more than five minutes to create a game and it's also absolutely free of course you don't have to pay a dime in order to do this so you can also share your game with friends by just sharing your games url which is nothing but your subdomain at playpass.games and also this is still in beta phase so if you want to provide any feedback to the team you can go ahead and join their discord server the link will also be in the description below so if you have any new ideas 
or any feedback at all you can just join the discord and let them know you can message uh, message them on discord so all right so now the moment that you have all been waiting for the competition so the task for you here is to create a game using playpass.games it can be any game it can be a daily word game or a daily music game it doesn't matter you need to create a game and share it with your friends and the top three games that have the highest amount of daily active users over a 30 day period will get to win an amazon or a visa gift card as i already said the first place takes hundred dollars second and third place takes $50 each. So if you're interested, I'll leave the links to the contest rules in the description below and also the link to the form where you can submit your game and enter the competition. So check out those links if you are interested and if you want to win these prizes. So all the best. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.